knows about quiche. Quiche is a kind of basic thing and you can put anything into a quiche and it would be really delicious. So it's really in the filling that you make a quiche kind of interesting. So I'm going to do one that has brie and bacon in it with some caramelized onions, but you can put all kinds of combinations in for yourself if you'd like. To begin with, we're going to make some pastry. Now, for the pastry, what we need you have to deal, when you're dealing with pastry, you have to have everything as cold as possible, right? So I'm dealing in cold water, cold lard, cold butter, right? We need four ounces of flour, which just happens to be a half a cup. Right. I'm going to put in an ounce of lard. And I'm also going to put in an ounce of butter. Right, so an ounce of butter, a little pinch of salt, a little bit of cold water, just a little bit. We just want to loosen it up, right? And then we are going to employ the rubbing in method to combine the fat with the flour. So using only your fingertips, you're just basically going to Pull everything together, rub and drop. Pull everything together, rub it and drop. And then, once you've got that all mixed in, you're going to bring it all into a bowl. Like that, into a bowl. Put it in a plastic bag. And you're going to put it in the fridge for... 10 to 20 minutes just to cool down. Let me see if I could seal this bag now. Right, here we go. We've got our pastry sort of nearly in the fridge chilling. And what I'm going to do is just get the filling ready. So I thought I was just going to do brie and bacon. So let me put the bacon on to fry. I've got this really nice Canadian bacon here. And depending on how big a quiche, you just want to put in several pieces to cook. Right, so the bacon is ready and stuck to the pan. Turn off the cooker, and I'm basically just going to pat, try and get as much oil out of it as possible. Right. Okay, let's take this over. Just cut up the bacon into small pieces. Right. Chop it up. Right. So nice strips of bacon there. Right, now. Let me get the pastry out of the fridge. And then, just roll it out. Doesn't have to be super, super thin. I quite like my quiche to have, you know, a bit of bite to it when you're a bit of crunch. There we go. Now, how you lift pastry up is that you pull it onto the rolling pin and then sort of turn. Whoops. And hopefully it doesn't stick too much. Right? So here we go. This is going to go onto my. like that over the quiche dish, roll it out, and then we've got to sort of place it like that. Take your knife, poke some holes in it, and then pop this into the oven half an hour, nope, sorry, 15 minutes at 350 degrees, right? So, here's one I did earlier. <laughs> Now, for the inside of my quiche, we're going to put in two eggs and then 
one egg yolk. Into there. And then we're gonna mix it all up a bit. And then I'm going to pour in my cream. Like that. Just get it all nicely mixed. Oh, that looks good. Let's put some pepper into there. Pinch of salt. Mix again. Right, so into my quiche, I'm going to put all my chopped up bacon. I've got here some onions that I basically just fried and caramelized. So two or three chopped up onions. They're slices. And just get them nice and mixed up so that every slice of quiche will have some bacon and some onions. And then to that, I'm basically just going to add some brie. I've got my brie here, and I'm just basically going to do some slices. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to lay some of the brie onto the quiche like that. Let me pour in my mixture. Now on top, I want to, going the other direction, lay on some brie. There we go. And to finish it up, I'm just kind of grate on a little bit of nutmeg. Like that. I'm just going to put this in the oven to bake at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. I'm here at the beautiful wildflower park where I've set up my brunch things. I think that we have such glorious public spaces in Trinidad. We really should take fuller advantage, having picnics, playing games, having lunches, that sort of thing in the savannah and other places like that. So, of course, I've got my wonderful quiche. I've got buljol, I've got my bacon buljol with a little salad happening here. My crepes, both sweet and savory. And some fresh fruit. And to top it off, my icy Bentley. That's it for Sarankosh. Happy brunching, everybody.